All right, today we're going to talk about audio effects and specifically audio effects racks. They exist in that audio effects folder. So if you see over here to the left, I have audio effects highlighted. And then right below is another folder that contains these preset audio effects racks. Okay, we discussed racks in an earlier tutorial, basically allowing you to create a multi effects rack with what we call chains, which we're going to show you in just a second. So as you can see here, we've got some very, very cool preset effects racks that are made by Ableton that ship with Ableton Live. So I've got Mastering and Helper. I've got Kits. Let's go ahead and open Mastering and Helper. You can see I've got a lot of different presets here. Let's go ahead and check them out listen to some audio. Let's go down here to our browser, our file browser, and we'll actually call up just a, a random loop here, a little minimal tech house loop. Okay, we'll drag that into clip slot number one on track one. We'll fire that off. Go back up to our live device browser. And we'll go to mastering and helper inside the audio effects rack. Open that up. Let's turn down track one just a little bit. And let's go ahead and choose one. Let's go ahead and say uh, general multiband. So I'll double click that. Immediately opens up track one in our detail view down here. So our info view, we'll close that up for just a second. And now you can see that I've got a device rack, an audio effects rack to be precise. Got some different chooser windows over here. We'll open up our chain view. We'll also open up our actual device view. And now you can see that I've got four different chains all pertaining to different values, different parameters, mainly EQ and compression doing some multi-band limiting here. So let's go ahead and work with these macros. See, we're adding some compression, some band frequency characteristics to the low end. Now we're going to go ahead and press down on the mid. We can also go over to our rack itself in our chain view, and we can actually solo each chain, which is wonderful. See how that's affecting the different frequencies as we compress each one of those individually. So soloing is a great way to work, especially when you're getting into the fine detail of mastering your audio. Okay, so that's a quick view and a quick look at the audio effects racks. We're going to dive into some more, including some really handy DJ tools in the next tutorial.